Subtraction within thousand. This is third chapter of mathematics textbook, grade two. And today we will do subtraction without borrowing. Objectives for today's lesson are: children will be able to do subtraction, to solve subtraction sums by counting backwards. All right, children. Let's start a lesson with mental starter. And these are very simple sums you have to solve. Two minus two. Yes, zero. You know when same numbers are subtracted, the answer is always zero. Four minus three. What is the answer? Yes, one. Two minus zero. The answer is two. Yes, when zero is subtracted from a number, the answer is always the same number. Four minus four. What's the answer? Yes, zero. Good job. Moving on with mental starter, children, you need to solve the given sums with two-digit numbers for subtraction. Take your time and do it very carefully. And later on, match your answers. Take care of place value, as the place values are identified at the top of each digit. Let's come up with the answers. Seventy-five minus thirty-two. What's the answer? Yes, forty-three. Next question is eighty minus forty, and the answer is forty. Now let's start with the main activity. The given sum is six hundred seventy-five minus three hundred. Now this time we need to subtract three digit numbers and the place values are also identified at the top of each digit. If you see the given table, units, tens and hundreds are illustrated over here as base 10 apparatus. And the give and the sum is also given in the form of numbers. Children the steps you have to follow are step 1 subtract the units, step 2 subtract the tens and step 3 subtract the hundreds let's start with the units 5 minus 0 means no units are being subtracted so 5 will remain the same at units place in the answer next tens 7 minus 0 7 will also remains the same at tens place next is hundreds 6 minus 3 If you see carefully in the first table the hundreds has have been cut down three hundreds have been cut down and we are left with three In the second place value table the answer has been shown 375 Now the given sum is 777 minus 334 Children try to do it yourself and you will follow the same steps First subtract the units, then subtract the tens, and then subtract the hundreds. Look at the first place value table. The values which have been cut down have been taken away, and you will draw the values for the answer in the table given below. Take your time and try to solve it and to draw it as well. Later on, check your answer. All right, let's come up with the answer. Starting from the sum, first subtract the units. Seven minus four. Yes, the answer is three. And you will write down under the same place value. Next is subtract the tens. Seven minus three. And the answer is yes, four. Now subtract the hundreds. Seven minus three. And the answer is four. In this way, our answer is four hundred and forty-three. And in the same way, you will draw these values respectively in the given table below. Carrying on with the main activity, let's discuss number line. What is a number line? Number line is a straight line with numbers at equal distance. Children if you look at the number line given below it is having 10 divisions 
and each number is at equal distance and the midway of this number line is at number 5. If you move on the right side of the number line, the numbers are increasing, are getting bigger, having higher value. And if you move on the left side of the number line, the numbers are getting smaller, of small values. A number line may has different sets of numbers on it. If you look at the given number lines, these are between 0 to 100 and 0 to 1000. And all the numbers on both of the number lines are at equal distance. Alright children, let's do some practice of subtraction on number line. The first given sum is 6 minus 1. The given number line is 0 to 10 and you will start from 6 and skip one number backwards and you will drop at 5. So 6 minus 1 is equal to 5 and on this number line we subtract by skipping 1. Let's do the next question. 7 minus 3 yes the number line is between 0 to 10 and you will start from 7 and will skip 3 numbers backwards in subtraction you move backwards and you will drop at 4 and our answer is 4 so on this number line we subtract by skipping 3 and our answer is 4. Well students, this time you need to do the given sum yourself. Alright, I will help you. First find out the bigger number. Yes, this is for blue line starting from 0 to 7. So our first number is 7. Now find the next number. Take help from the given purple line. Count the number of skips. Yes, how many skips have been taken by purple line? Yes, 5. In this way, our sum will be 7 minus 5. Now solve it yourself. Take your time. Yes, by skipping 5 numbers, we drop at 2. So, our answer is 2. On this number line, we subtract by skipping 5. Good job! Now, look at the given question very carefully. 28 minus 7. It has been illustrated as well. And you have to subtract taking help from the given number line by skipping 7 numbers starting from 28. You can do it yourself at which number you are dropping. Yes, at 21. So our answer is 21. Now comes the video time. So watch the relevant video. And note down all the main points and relate these with the discussions done so far. Six minus three. The frog starts at six and then moves three places to the left. The frog lands on three, so six minus three equals three. Eight minus four. The frog starts at eight and then moves four places to the left. The frog lands on 4, 
So, 8 minus 4 equals 4. 5 minus 3. The frog starts at 5 and then moves 3 places to the left. The frog lands on 2. So, 5 minus 3 equals 2. Well children, I hope that the concept of subtraction is quite clear to you and you can do the given task independently. Written task for day 1. You need to do page number 46, 47 and 48 of mathematics textbook. Written task for day 2 is page number 49 of mathematics textbook. Written task for day 3. Find the difference. Children, you need to solve the given sums and take care of place value. Coming towards the wrap up session of the lesson. Solve the given sum 773 minus 401. You can do it very easily. You have done a lot of practice. Take care of place value. Let's come up with the answer. And the answer is 372. Hope your answer is the same. You have done a good job. Children complete your work very neatly and carefully within your notebooks and textbook. Take good care of yourself.